Hi, this is the C. Jason podcast and I am Marion Wedstein from the University Hospital of Zurich, Department of Urology. I have the privilege to talk about our simulation study evaluating the management of active surveillance eligible prostate cancer during pre-transplantation workup. We all know the clinical dilemma associated with these patients when it comes to balancing the benefits of early kidney transplantation and the risk of metastatic progression. We try to approach this dilemma by a simulation technique called discrete event simulation. Based on systematic literature searches, clinical guidelines and expert opinion, we developed a model simulating the clinical events of such patients from pre-transplantation workup to death. By weighting the distinct periods of a patient's clinical path with different utility values, ranging from zero meaning death and one meaning perfect health, it is possible to calculate the quality adjusted life expectancy of this patient. After extensive model validation and calibration, we simulated the clinical course of a hypothetical cohort of 100,000 patients who were treated by four different management strategies, specifically definitive treatment by surgery or radiation therapy and listing after waiting period of two years, definitive treatment and immediate listing, active surveillance and listing after waiting period of two years, and active surveillance and immediate listing. We compared the mean quality adjusted life expectancy between the four management strategies and found out that the strategy active surveillance and immediate listing yielded the highest amount of quality adjusted life expectancy, followed by definitive treatment and immediate listing. These two strategies involving immediate listing not only outperformed those incorporating a waiting period of two years, but also yielded a higher proportion of successfully performed transplantations with less time on hemodialysis on average. In conclusion, the cumulative time on hemodialysis can be considered a more important driver of the differences in quality adjusted life expectancy between the four strategies than the negligible high rate of metastatic progression associated with active surveillance. This study can therefore be the basis for a change in practice and motivation for prospective data collection in the specific kidney failure population. I want to close by thanking the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology for the opportunity to share our work. Thank you for listening. This podcast is copyrighted by the American Society of Nephrology, all rights reserved. All content in this podcast is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. This podcast should not be used in a medical emergency or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. Please consult your doctor or other qualified healthcare provider if you have any questions about any medical condition, or before taking any drug, changing your diet, or commencing or discontinuing any course of treatment. Thank you for listening to this podcast from the American Society of Nephrology.